Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading today. We got a we got a vibe going. We got our pumpkin bonfire candle. If any of you want to know what scent I'm using today, you guys always comment on my Bath and Body Works candles. You guys know that I love me some smell goods. So that's the one we're burning today. We're getting into the fall vibes. Okay, it's definitely giving, uh, let me get a pumpkin spice latte. All right. And then we also have a new crystal here today. We're using the Lapidolite. Okay, I got this crystal a long time ago. Okay, I got a crystal store over here where we go ham with the crystals. Just know. I, it wouldn't be right if my name wasn't, or let me rephrase that. It would only be right for me to get a whole bunch of crystals since my name is Crystal. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what's going on with you, Pisces. We're going to be looking at the harsh truths today, harsh truths that you need to hear at this moment. It looks like your spirit guides really want to speak already. I got the Knight of Wands energy, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles here in reverse as the first three cards. So let's just jump straight into it, I guess. Uh, first harsh truth that you may be needing to hear is time for you guys to find a new source of motivation. Actually, let me even go further with that. A lot of events that could be taking place in your life right now is spirit trying to light a fire up under your behind. And this is correcting things, putting things in order, finding a sense of direction as well, especially with that eight of swords energy was standing out to me is those two swords that are bundled up here in the front. So this is giving me that two of swords energy. It's the confliction the confliction in direction. So first harsh truth that you may be needing to hear is there's a need for direction here. What do you want to do in life creatively? What do you want or what, what are your passions and how can you align yourself mentally and even in your actions to move in the direction of the things that you desire to acquire? Okay, it's, it's what I'm... Picking up here with this Eight of Swords energy, that's very interesting to me, especially with that Two of Pentacles right next to it. Spirit is saying, if you don't make up your mind on what you want or what you desire, or at least be clear in your direction, you could miss all your opportunities, or you could miss certain valuable opportunities that are accessible to you at this very moment. Okay, I see that career wise and I also see that in regards to love. Hmm. Let's keep going. I have the eight of not the eight, the tower, and I also have the nine of wands, excuse me. And I don't think you guys can actually even see that. So let's back it up just a little bit. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and just pull the other three while we're at it. We have the Five of Swords, the Hangman in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Alrighty, so going even further in terms of truths that you guys may be needing to hear, a lot of personal stress that you guys could have at the moment could be due to energy being transferred onto you by people around you. There could be a lot of confusion, confliction, misdirection in other people. And while you're constantly trying to be there for others in their misdirection or in their confusion, it's starting to confuse the shit out of you. Like, let's just be 100% honest. Uh, it also seems like there's a lot of miscommunication as well between you and possibly uh, fire sign, air sign, uh, in regards to the zodiac sign, it could even be a water sign, okay? That's why it doesn't even matter. I'm seeing all elements. There's some miscommunications with certain connections here. When I look at this Five of Swords, it's multiple people at the root of this miscommunication. So there could be a lot of he say, she say. Make sure that you're getting information directly from the source in any confusion that you could have at the moment, okay? This could also be a lot of like self-sabotage. 
decisions that you guys have been making recently that some of you are actually pretty aware of at this very moment while watching this video and you're making corrections to, you know, address those things. But there is certain self sabotage choices or decisions that you could make that you're not so aware of. So what you may not be... Hmm... I'm trying to see how I could put this into words. The truth is, until you see something from another point of view, it could be very hard for you to clear up some sort of arguments, miscommunication, or issues with others during this time frame. So make sure you step outside of your own perspective of things and you step into a space of looking at others, and if we're talking about even career, this is stepping outside of your own understanding of what's possible for you and let God, let spirit step in the way. Let God do the work or put you in the path of what you're, you're destined to be doing if you are confused in terms of your direction. Because for a lot of you, it just seems like a, a lot of change that's happening, but then it's coming with also this level of a need for a change of perspective and action is the main thing i'm picking up on let's pull some more cards to see what else is going on okay guys all right what's the energy around my pisces sun moon rising and venus placements in terms of harsh truths they need to hear at this very moment I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracle if you want to know as well. All right, so we have Stuck in the Mud as the first card. What you may not, and I, I keep wanting to say what you're not aware of. <laughs> the harsh truth that you may be needing to hear at this moment is you guys have slowed down, okay? You guys have slowed down and it's only because things have been literally holding you down, whether this is a mindset issue, whether this is certain relationships that you have around you, whether this is even just you being stuck in a very repetitive cycle of doing things over and over and over the same way until you bump your head and you realize, okay, there's maybe something I need to look closer at in terms of why this same outcome keeps happening. Okay. Also with stuck in the mud, there's certain things that you guys need to get real down and dirty in regards to in order for you to clear up some sort of issue. All right. Hmm. I think that also this may be a time frame in which you guys are needing to be in observing position instead of uh doing especially with you guys being in the midst of so much change like the harsh truth you may be needing to hear is there are things that are happening right now that you don't have control over but instead of you trying to fight and, and fake the funk it's time for you to surrender to a higher plan than you have for yourself okay let me pull one more for you guys or actually we're gonna pull i guess we could pull three Details, details. We are in Virgo season, right? And we're about to shift into Libra season. But with the four and the three energy coming through, this is definitely giving you guys need to slow down and take, because this is, this together is equal in a seven. There's a time for, this is a time in which you guys need to look at the details of a relationship here. I'm thinking about like seventh house matters. So, and we are going into Libra season, which is like super crazy. Um, but with the details, details being here, you guys need to look closer at the details of your relationship. Where is there miscommunication? Where are there things that you and your person don't agree on that could be deal breakers down the line? This is also paying attention to your own repetitive patterns. And it could be the tiniest things that you don't even realize in your, you know, way of thinking, your way of doing. That could be a huge impact on you. 
Yeah, and then this is also, again, being in an observant point of view. So I think that the harsh truth is some of you guys need to just kind of step back and allow the details to kind of play out. Uh, we also have gentle gardener, and we have that two energy. Yeah, so you guys, you guys are needing to weigh your perspective, what makes sense and what doesn't. Also, another harsh truth, you guys may be needing to be a lot more gentle and kind with yourself. You could be expecting perfection from yourself and in turn expecting perfection from others. And you could be running into obstacles where that isn't necessarily the case, where you deal with situations where you mess up and you beat yourself down for it. Or you deal with a lover who may mess up or a friend who may mess up, but you can't expect perfection 100% from others because humans are made flawed. You have to understand that. But these are just some of the messages that I see. I hope that this was helpful. It was just so many messages. It was, it was a lot. It's always a pleasant time being in Pisces energy though. I hope that this was helpful. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye my loves.